Hello and welcome to lesson four. Uh, in this lesson we're going to cover the data sources for Drive Image as well as the device management. So the first thing you're going to want to do with Drive Image is actually connect the application to one of your MFPs. So the place to do that is in device management. And you'll remember that the first thing that we did was hit the demo button and got some demo devices so that we could test. But really what you're going to want to do is hit the add button select the type of device that you're connecting and then enter the IP address. So once you've done that, go ahead and hit connect. That's going to use uh, SNMP or in some cases it's a SOAP call to go to the device and bring back the name, the serial number, the model, and the location. Um, depending on the device, you will also below have an option to automatically add the drive image application on the device which if you enable and then hit OK, Drive will actually go out and add the application to the device for you. Um, I'm not going to do it now. We will have separate videos at the end for each device type. Um, but typically the automatic registration works. Uh, each device is a little different, so there are some settings that you'll need to check. Um, so I'd recommend that you take a look at that uh, list at the end of the videos. But definitely add a device first and then go check and make sure that it works. Um, the second thing that's very important when creating drive image profiles, and which is wise to do at the beginning, is set up your data sources. So a data source is anything that the drive image application is going to attempt to connect to. Um, the most common example here is an LDAP lookup. So for instance, if we're using drive image to query the global address book uh, within a company, we're going to need to set up a data source here uh, as an LDAP data source that Drive Image can use every time a user goes to make that connection. Um, some of the other ones are ODBC for SQL lookups, um, Lotus Notes or Exchange if you're making a connection to an Exchange server, either to send an email or to browse users' personal contacts. We can also do lookups to Drive DM, uh, which is our document management system. Uh, if you're connecting to SharePoint or OneDrive, you're going to want to create a SharePoint data source. Uh, DocuShare, which is another document management system. Uh, Fax or FSE, which is a digital rights management. So depending on what you're setting the system up for and what you're going to create profiles for, I definitely recommend going ahead and, and setting up your data sources beforehand. So in this case, I'm on the actual domain controller. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the LDAP information. Um, normally simple authentication is okay. Uh, again, that's pretty much based off what the IT administrator tells you. Um, you can also specify a, a CN um, or an OU if you want to limit the LDAP lookup. But typically since we're only doing a lookup, uh, just the general settings are fine. So that was successful and there we go. So now I have a data source. Now, we are going to be creating some other ones here, so I'm going to go ahead and set them up. Uh, one of them is an ODBC data source. So for an accounting profile that we're going to be setting up later, I'm going to use one of the built-in system DSN entries that Drive creates for you. Um, if you need to set uh, a DSN entry, for instance, if you're looking it up to another uh, data source, which is on the server or on the network, um, you can open up this Microsoft ODBC data source administration and add it that way. Um, that's something that you're probably going to need the IT administrator for uh, because they'd set it up in the first place. So in this case, uh, I have a customer CSV, and you should have those two as well, customer CSV and Northwind. Um, we can use either of them here. Drive will build those two for demo profiles so that you can do the lookup. So now that my data sources are created, I can go ahead and start creating profiles without having to worry about going back and creating the data source when I'm halfway through. 